I'm here to love you. I'm here to warn you because I love you. I'm the best friend you could ever have. To warn you that you broke the laws of God and that you don't fear God. When you live in sin, you don't fear God. When you're living in sin, lying, stealing, getting drunk, dressing on modest, exposing your body, no purity in your life, fornication, homosexuality, abortion, you are breaking the laws of God. You are breaking God's commandments and you deserve a place called hell. When you break God's laws, when you break God's commandments, and I'm here to love the wicked, I'm here to love the wicked, to warn you that you don't fear God when you get drunk. You don't fear God when you dress on modest, expose your thighs. You don't love God when you get drunk, high. You don't love God when you commit adultery or look upon a woman in lust. A lot of you ladies dress on modest and you wonder why men stumble and their marriage goes downhill because you're dressing on modest and you put in pair of thoughts in a man's mind. And that's what's going on. When you dress on modest, you make men stumble and cause divorce. And that's what happens when a lady dresses on modest. When you get drunk, when you get drunk, yeah, you cause damage to your body. But also you can kill a life, a DUI. You can do a lot of damage when you have sex outside of marriage. You get herpes, gonorrhea, syphilis to clap. And I can't clap to that because there's nothing to be cheerful or proud about. People are proud. They're boastful. They're boasting. They boast. The proud are in trouble before God. When you think you're better, you think you don't stink, and you do what you want, and you do it your way, instead of humbling yourself. That's the problem when you're proud. People are greedy. All they care about is their job, their money, their 401k. They care about their riches, their gold. They care about their looks. Yeah, it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man or a rich woman to enter the kingdom of God. Your rich mommy or daddy cannot get you to heaven. Even their Donald Trump cannot get you into the kingdom of God because you're a lawbreaker. You broke the commandments of God. You broke the Ten Commandments, lying, stealing. Looking upon a woman of lust is don't you in your heart. Jesus said if you hate somebody, you're a murderer in heart. How many people use God's name in vain as a curse word? You go to a movie, you hear God's name used in vain, and you pay for these tickets. If I used your mom's name in vain or your dad, you'd be mad as hell at me, wouldn't you? of the wrath of God. I'm here to warn you of the wrath of God. To warn you, sinners, is, it equals death. Sinner equals death. The wage of sin is death. If you continue to rebel against God, you will be cast into the lake of fire at his judgment throne one day. You'll be standing before him naked and you will be cast into hell because you sinned against the Holy God. But God provides a way out of the sin for His elect, for His sheep. He provides a way out. He sent the Son, Jesus Christ, to die on a Roman cross to pay the penalty of sin. He sent the Son, Jesus, him who knew no sin became sin for us that we can become righteousness of God. Jesus 
became a curse for our sin. Is God granting you repentance? Are you going to cry out to God for His love and mercy? Are you going to cry out for more drugs, more alcohol, more gambling, more undressed, modest women, homosexuality, abortion? And that's what's going on. When we live in sin, we live in sin. And I'm here to love you. I don't want you to die in your sin. I want you to be free of your sin. Repent. Repent if you're a homosexual. Repent if you had abortion. Repent if you lie or stole, if you masturbated. Repent if you fornicated. Repent if you dress on modest and put clothes on. And turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free. Turn to God. Jesus Christ can set you free. Cry out to His Holy One. Cry out to God who can set you free of all your sins, all your wickedness. Turn to a Savior. Turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free. Only Christ can save our soul from you can't hell. Have solicitation like this, you can have freedom of speech, but you can't turn do to these God. Things. That's actually not classified Repent. as solicitation. That's actually scripture, which Repent. doesn't fall under the, uh, the, the jurisdiction. And turn of, uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Whose rule is that? That or is actually that's the actual, the actual federal fire. and the, the local. And we love because you. Because solicitation that we suggests you that something is being sold or selling nothing. But, but the free uh, gift certain, of God. But the loudness is like the, the it's people here life. enjoying the beach. I don't mind freedom of speech Jesus like you and Christ I are talking to you. I, I love you, sinners. That I come here to warn you. Like, um, turn to Christ. Turn to Yahshua, Jesus, and have life. You, you are familiar with the uh, the class action lawsuit that uh, turn. one of our groups won about Jesus a year ago. Jesus Christ can set you free thing. of all your sins. They would of all your wickedness. Yeah, I, I Jesus Christ can even make undressed, yeah. modest yeah. women put a dress on totally and dress holy before God. You what you consider, no, I, I generally, I, I want to be as, as cooperative as possible. What do you consider a reasonable tone? Well, that's not I love you. I have well, compassion for you to warn you. I don't want you to perish in hell. I'm the best friend you ever have. I'm here to warn you of the wrath of God. The wrath of God will cast you into hell. And we don't want that for you. We want you to come to Jesus and have life. Well, I, I would appreciate you know, Let him redeem you. Only he can redeem you. But it's Only point he can provide a way together. out. It now affects people walking sidewalks and everything else. That's when it affects Turn people. to Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not giving you any baloney. Okay. I'm not trying right. to tell you. But I think that the voice needs to calm down. We don't cry need out. Larry be coming. I'm here to cry out because I love I you. I'm a religious person. And I don't want you to go to hell. But I just need I'm to calm down a little bit before it gets Because I care right. about your soul. I'm crying out because I don't want to see you wicked sinners go to hell. Turn and believe on it. Whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise God.